ഹലോ 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 ഗായ്സ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനോ സ്ട്രീം ബ്ലഡ് ഹോൺ റിലാക്സേഷൻ വെൽക്കം ടു സ്ട്രീം ഗൈസ് ബ്ലഡ് റിലാക്സേഷൻ ഓക്കെ ഗൈസ് സോ ടുഡേ വി ഓണ് ലേൺ അബൌട്ട് ദി ബേസിക്സ് ഓഫ് സബ്സ്റ്റൻസ് പെയിൻ്റർ യു നോ ദി ടെക്സ്റ്ററിംഗ് സോഫ്റ്റ്വെയർ ഓക്കെ Uh, I will show you from the beginning uh, with the, uh, exporting from the uh, 3ds max so I am going to make a uh, chair model okay so we can texture uh, inside <coughs> 3ds max sorry uh, substance vendor after uh, UV unwrapping so I am going to make a basic uh, chair model to show you the texture method inside substance painter okay so i am gonna start with the box like this we discussed last time and i am gonna change this uh, material to <coughs> this one guys don't forget to like share and subscribe okay this is this is a this is just a uh, simple chair model i am gonna export to three, uh, substance painter so we can um, discuss about the substance painter okay okay i'm gonna model it i'll duplicate this for the now i'll move this here oh someone subscribe bro i don't i can't pronounce your name anyway thanks for subscribing okay i will reduce this uh, length of this is the handle okay handle of the chair right little bit So I'm going to convert to editable poly. Then I will move this part a little bit below. Okay. Then I'm going to duplicate by holding down shift. Holding down shift and move it to this area. Uh, then, then, then. Okay. then i am going to replicate this one again then rotate it to this 45 degree angle like this okay for the back part of the chair yes then move it here then select these vertices together then move it here okay okay uh, then i'm going to adjust the height of the height of this part here okay maybe a little bit depth of like this okay hope this is look like a chair okay oh maybe a little bit i can move to this table poly <coughs> your sound is sometimes doubling ash hello hello is it clear now it's okay we'll check bro if ne okay i'm going to 
ओके विल सेव ए कॉपी देन आई एम गोना चेम फॉर दिस एडजेस ओके सो सेलेक्ट एडजेसेस इन कंट्रोल ए और we'll make it like this we can make a design here of it i will add an edge loop here by go to this area and shift loop add a separate part and then i'm gonna scale this part okay like uh, like this okay then i will add one more <coughs> edges here in the center almost and then select the edges okay i will make it like this okay then i'm going to change for these edges okay this all to the, the same time no wait wait, wait. i forgot to select that area okay or i think we don't need this one i think we don't need this area right i will delete these edges okay by pressing control plus sorry plus backspace then i will chain for these edges okay a little bit like this okay i'm going to keep with this keep it like this <coughs> okay okay then maybe chain for the bottom part so so this okay we don't need that much so i'm going to reduce the edges here maybe one more edge <coughs> Make this okay. <coughs> Then we will save it again. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you have any doubts. Just comment, okay? Then I am gonna <coughs> select uh, these faces. Then press hold on control. Then press edge, okay? So we can select these all these edges as well. We don't need this one. <coughs> i'm going to change for this part so part also so I'll click here make it more oh we don't need that much maybe on Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep it like that. Same goes here uh, <clears throat> in the back side here.
Like this is just a simple model, okay? I'm not gonna detail that much. So I'm gonna duplicate this one to this one here by hold on shift. Okay, like that. Then I'm gonna chamfer this part, okay? I mean the sitting part. Okay, duplicate like this. Then keep it one more here. Okay. <coughs> Little bit height maybe okay select the element press it and press hold on control then press edge okay then chamfer this this Or we can just isolate this one, uh, select these edges, then uh, ring it, and can add more edges like this. Okay, this side and also this side, okay. Then we will jump for these areas. like this wait it i think i need to change select this also yes then Hold on, hold on, wait. This. Okay, we don't need, we only need this much, okay? So I'm gonna keep it like this. Then move this center parts little bit to make it like a, you know, the cushion. Like this, he will move it like this area. Maybe here also. Okay. This. Or we can select these edges here. Then where was this? click soft selection, use soft selection. See, I'll show you. You can reduce the <coughs> fall of area like this, and then you can adjust the way selecting the vertexes to me. I show it like this. Area loose. Okay, we don't need to stand for the the stand for that part. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save it again. Then the below thing will delete it. Then duplicate this part again. Then I'm gonna rotate flip vertically. Okay, like this. Then move it up a little bit. Then I will reduce the size also. Or we take can use a symmetry weight. I go to the modifier panel and down below we have this symmetry option. Then move it little bit like this. Okay.
Okay, and then I'm gonna collapse all. Okay. And make a copy. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the back part of this chair. We select these edges here. Jump wait. Like this or like this, okay. Uh, then we might adjust the height a little bit. Guys, it's just a simple chair, okay? Or maybe the length like this. Height also. More weight, I think we don't need that much. Okay, what if I move this area like this? Okay, wait. I'm gonna uh, connect these edges here. Sorry, vertices here like this. Then, if I move like this, then add one more uh, edge here. Then move that back to this side. Okay. That. So I'm gonna isolate this part, then I will chamfer this area like this. I'm gonna show you. I will switch to edges and then deselect these areas. This some maybe. And I will Hope it look like it's here, guys. Okay. Maybe we don't need that much length. Sorry, edges. Okay, like this. Okay. Shit. Okay, maybe this much. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the back side. Like this, okay. Okay, here also a little bit. Maybe we should align this here like that okay. 
we only need one okay so now i think we have we have the chair yes right no 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 Or should we reduce the this part? Maybe. Wait, let me check here. Anyway. Nope, nope. Okay, I think we need to place the. Okay. We don't need it. I think maybe we should copy sorry duplicate this part then reduce the height for a second question here this maybe a little bit oh we should rotate to to keep a variety okay okay anyway i am not satisfied with this model anyway this is uh, yes for to show you the uh, basics of substance painter okay now i am going to unwrap this uh, model cov then we will export to the unreal engine so, sorry substance painter okay okay i'm gonna do with this part first i'm gonna isolate it i'm gonna go to the modifier panel then down below we have this unwrap uv w option i'm gonna add it uh, then okay i'm going to hide this uh, this green lines okay i mean the map seems we can uncheck this like that then i'm gonna clear the uncheck this one also this ignore back spacing this one and i'm gonna open the uv editor make it a little bit bigger I'm going to again save a copy because I trust Max. So I'm going to select everything and <coughs> move it to the side for this time. See, here we can change the, the texture. You know, UV tracet card. I don't know this name. Anyway, I'm going to keep it this checker pattern, okay? Okay, then I'm gonna select this uh, polygon. Uh, polygon and click uh, select these faces. Okay, from here to here. Okay, or maybe um, here to like this. I will remember hold down and drag. Okay. from here sorry to here okay okay yes then i'm gonna press uh, come to this side this projection side and then i will choose this planner map okay because i'm gonna um, project this uh, 
these faces into this i will show you we will click on it i am going to project into this i see said view align to said view like this then i am going to come here in this tool uh, tool section you can see this uh, relax option click on it then you can press start relax okay we'll click toggle this option here then move it here okay click relax it again see the checker patterns are low. now looks so good right i will show you before and after lags okay i am going to show you the before this was uh, how it looked before lags in the pattern okay i mean the uv see this uh, stretched side but uh, when i click lags see it's gone okay make sure you relax every time okay or the uv's look like it stretched or something okay i'm gonna move to this area save it again then i'm gonna select this this part okay this one this one this one and this one this one Three, uh, six. Okay. Then again, I'm gonna um, pro, um, click planar map. Then press series it again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna last it again. See. Okay once more maybe make sure you click uh, apply before relaxing okay then i will move this side now we have the these sides okay this one and this one so i am going to select this area like this then i am gonna uncheck our already untrapped areas like uh, by hold on alt button okay see like this now here we have only this area selected i'm gonna press uh, sorry i'm gonna click this planner map again then press uh, x maybe yes x align to see align to x align to y align to z then we will uh, relax it again play if i check uh, okay so now we have only this uh, back side okay so i'm going to select this uh plus planner map and plus said no no so not said six okay and then i'm gonna relax it again maybe okay mm, i think see i'll show you this happens uh whenever you choose your models back side okay so before we relax the part uh, i think we need to uh, okay right click the selected part then click uh, flip to horizontal okay like this after that you can relax okay like this Okay, we think we did. I think that's it for this part. I'm going to select everything by press Ctrl A. Then down below we have this uh, 
അറേഞ്ച് എലമെൻറ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ യു ക്യാൻ ബാക്ക് അവർ യു വിസ് ഓക്കെ അല്ലേ ഐ എം ഗുണ ഹോൾഡ് ഓൺ ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ദെൻ സെലക്ട് ഡൗൺ ബിലോ ഓപ്ഷൻ ദെൻ വിൻഡോ വിൽ പോപ്പ് അപ്പ് യു ക്യാൻ ലീവ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് എ ഡിഫോൾട്ട് ഐ എം ഗുണ ലീവ് ഇറ്റ് വിത്ത് എ ഡിഫോൾട്ട് ദെൻ പ്രസ് ഓക്കെ ഇത് യു വിസ് ആർ പാക്ക്ഡ് so i'm gonna unwrap this area okay this side isolate it we then use the unwrap uvw modifier from the modifier list open the editor by going edit uv section okay okay move everything to the side I think page wait we do we have everything separated so I think it will be easy for this part okay okay this one yeah this one okay i've selected this one then press planar map set then lags by going to tools option okay we did that then for the bottom here is what same like the okay wait like i said earlier uh, we have to flip uh, horizontal okay okay top and bottom are fine so this side this one right this okay i'm going to select both of them then click on this planner map and press y align to y no align to x again so then relax it again like this see both uh, parts are connected to the no more seams here okay now i'm going to select this part okay this one then this one we'll select both of them then 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 press this planar section then y maybe okay align to y okay and lax okay i'm going to the side panel side in this one so okay select both of them planner x maybe okay okay i think you need to uh, flip for a sundown okay now we have only these parts this part this one i'm going to do it again with the y okay okay flip horizontal so i think that's it for this part also i'm going to select everything by press control a then and so you know we want to pack it okay like the last time okay okay 
Okay. Okay, I'm going to delete this part. Okay, then duplicate this. Uh, um, Unwrap your uh, model here. Then I'm going to scale it down a little bit like this. Make sure you as uh, well. Uh, if you scale a mesh down after bro again thanks for subscribing i don't know i can't read your name bro anyway thanks for subscribing okay if you scale it down a mesh after um, unwrapping the uv you have to go to the editor check the pattern okay for any stretches and then like that few things so you can you can say uh, select everything then go to relax it doesn't matter so you leave it like that okay i'm going to make a copy to save Okay, now the last part this back side. I'm gonna isolate it. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Then to go to unwrap UV, sorry, unwrap UV W modifier. Open the editor. Okay. Move everything to the side at first. Then we will select this front area. At first, or you can just press this option. Where was it? See, this select by planar angle. If we check it, you can select the or select one side with the one click. Okay, like that. Make sure you didn't check select any other faces. So I'm gonna. Grow the selection by see this plus and minus option. You can grow a selection by like this. I'll show you like this. This like this. Maybe one more time. No. I will uh, uncheck undo the selection here. Here, yes, okay. Again, I'm gonna press uh, planar on the X, right? X, and then you relax it a little bit. Okay, okay, move to the side. Then I'm gonna select this part. If your angle is uh, too bad, you can just press this one, okay, best align. Okay, we can uh, use third option here. Okay, now we have this part, I think, yes. Okay, I'm going to press planner again, press X then maybe we need to yes we need to flip it horizontally then relax it apply it maybe one more time okay apply it okay control a to select everything then pack it for now Okay, we want to pack everything to the late, lately. Sorry, later. Okay, I'm going to make a copy to save for a backup. Okay, I'm going to attach everything to the okay, wait, uh, save it. 
collapse or I'm gonna attach everything okay like uh, this thing sorry like this okay we attached everything together so we are gonna add one more time this uh, uvw and uh, modifier here open the editor make sure you uncheck this okay if you don't do that uh, once you select like select uh, face like this it won't it may not select this back side of the mesh okay so make sure you and check this option so here i am gonna select everything by press ctrl a okay before that i need to see the pattern then i am gonna pack it very like this last time we did yes i think it's better Or you can just uh, add a different material and pack it differently. Okay, I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna pack it together. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Okay. Okay, I will reset the mesh pivot like this. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna save a copy. Okay, two more time. Mm, save it. Then I'm gonna duplicate the mesh. Wait, uh, edit clone. Right. Then I'm gonna rename to chair H for high poly. Okay, I'm gonna uh, convert to this to a high poly. Wait, let me check anyway. Okay. Now we have the we have two meshes okay i will isolate on i mean the chair edge then collapse it then i will add turbo, turbo smooth okay you can see it below like it will be like this so i don't think we need high poly mesh okay okay this is just to show you guys okay this iPod is just to show how to export the export uh, low poly and high poly to painter okay okay wait at me okay I want to save it again. We have two low poly and high poly. Okay, this one low, this one high. I'm gonna keep it together. Save it. Okay, now we are going to export to a folder. Okay, uh, export. Okay, select any of the model. I'm gonna select this low poly. I'm gonna export to uh, selected option desktop new folder in game so i will click it again new folder tool and uh, i will use the default fpx okay okay wait for that mm, i will call up some then 
thing is smoothing to a piece of it. Yeah, it's okay. Then we don't need to add separate smoothing group anyway. Okay, I'm going to export again by export export selected desktop new folder to and name to chair. Geometry animation camera wait geometry. Make sure you check this option. Or, or else uh, smoothing group will not work okay mm, then 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 i think that's it maybe fbx file format i don't think we need to change it i will press okay okay now the high for the high poly select it export selected Chair rich. I'm gonna change name to chair rich. Okay, make sure you check the turbo smooth away if you added it, or else same, it won't work. Okay, exported it. I'm gonna save it, minimize it, minimize it, open painter. Okay. I'm gonna hide these stupid desktop icons. Guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So it will open up the painter. So yeah, I am using the uh, Steam version, okay? See the Steam version. Guys, this is our substance painter. Okay, once you open up, you you will see something like this. So don't be afraid. Just go to this menu. Okay, file. Click on it. Uh, press new. Okay, then you will see this mesh option here. No mesh selector option here. Um, press uh, press select option. Okay, here. Then go to your exporter folder, choose your uh, low poly, okay. Chair, okay. Leave everything by default. Document resolution, we don't need to change, okay. Then press OK. Oh, see our UVs are here. UV is here. I will move it for here. You can move these windows uh, like this, okay. If you want to see the UVs, you can just use your left click. Okay, I can use your mouse middle button to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, then you can hold down Alt key, then mouse right, no, mouse left click, click to rotate the viewport. Okay, then Alt plus mouse middle button to uh, move around this mesh like this okay then see if you hold on alt key you can see all all type of shortcuts here if you hold on shift uh, then click uh, mouse right button then drag it will rotate the light okay i'll, show, I'll tell you again hold on shift uh, use your right click Hold hold on the right click also, then move it move around to see the lights here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna save this project before start. I'll save it to here. We'll save. I'm gonna name to chair. This uh, this uh, file size will be very high, so be careful. Okay. so here uh, i'm gonna back the textures with the high poly so here we have this texture settings okay if you don't see any windows like texture settings display settings or viewer settings 
just come here in the uh, view option in the top side okay uh, press it you can see the <coughs> again uh, either reset your ua by pressing this or you can just check everything to make sure everything is enabled okay if everything is enabled and you don't see anything here you can just reset it <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna back the texture. So I'm gonna go to this texture settings panel. <clears throat> then this find this back texture option here. Click on it, and I'm gonna change the output size to two K to zero four right. And uh, we need to add high poly image. Okay, uh, to do that. Uh, down here we have this high dimension meshes right side we will see this uh, this folder button click on it and uh, it will open the window then select your high poly mesh then we think i am going to leave it with the default maybe i think you need to change it a little bit also this um, maybe Dilation with maybe I don't know one is enough. Maybe yeah, I will see. Uh, I'll check anyway. I did do sorry, I didn't do it for a long time, guys. So I need to check again. Okay, everything fine. I think we will. Okay, after you read everything, then back the textures here uh, by this option. Okay, back default textures. I'm going to click on it. It will take some time, especially in this ambient occlusion. Okay, if your uh, model is model size is too high, it will take some time. Silver mesh is uh, baked with baking fade color map. Okay, don't mind this option. Okay, color map from mesh. We don't need that anymore, anyway. Okay, because we didn't add any uh, vertex color. So here we have uh, normal map, ambient occlusion map, curvature map, position map thickness map see id map it doesn't matter we don't need that here okay this project i will show you the mm, large see or mm, normal here curvature ambient occlusion position thickness and the world space normal okay you have the model here i think you are seeing everything is look fine okay so here <coughs> i'm gonna save it again okay we need to color the let's hold on a second Okay, see if you press C, you can see all type of mask in your report. Okay, if you press it again, you can see the normal here. 
you can see this see the checker pattern here if i press again see so you can see then press m to go back to the default view okay okay now we have to add color and everything dot and everything so we have to add a fill layer okay so i am going to add a fill layer by and go here add a smart node add a photo now see add a fill layer you can just click on it uh, then then here after you add a fill layer uh, you can come here in the material section okay click on it i want to expand like this we have all type of material here wait i think we need leather or fabric rust fabric soft denim i think we should add click on it okay okay we'll show you once more uh first add a fill layer okay then come to this material section uh, find the material you want to add then press it then it will add it like this or maybe i think we should uh, fabric rough or no fabric so scarf or no okay we'll Use the fabric refer this uh, soft today okay okay we added our base material so we can change the projection okay like uh, uv projection or planar projection no sorry tri planar projection i'll show you the difference this one is uv projection okay this is based on our uh our packing of the uv with the seams and everything so i'm going to change to my planner okay this will hide most of the seam edges okay that's uh, that is try and try planner i'm gonna use try planner with uh, also you can change the uv scale like here i'm gonna change it to sorry uh, three maybe okay i think i will choose three or two wait wait i'm gonna use three okay we have the uh, default material here uh, then here we can all change the uh, um, color of the material like uh, this okay. see like that and wanna go with the default option okay okay then scale what is scale okay i think we can change the scale here also sometime you can you you won't do you can do that okay you won't find any uh, material setting inside a material so you have to do it manually in the uh, property section of the uv i'm gonna okay i will keep like that now the viewport uh, texture uh, quality is just uh, 1k okay okay wait i will show you after saving the file you can change the quality by come here by i will change it to 4k 
See? I'm gonna go, go back to okay. Okay, I'm gonna add one more another sorry one more not one more another fill layer like this. Then I'm gonna uh, drag this uh, ambient occlusion texture to base color. Okay, you can uh, disable the these textures like uh, this i want to disable height normal rough metal see you can disable like that if you don't need it it's in this property section okay i'm gonna uh, drop this AO texture into base color okay you can see these uh, shadows and everything then i'm gonna multiply this fill layer okay to match with the base color of the mesh i'm gonna multiply it like this click here okay click this normal section and you can multiply like this then you can uh, reduce the opacity maybe see can you see the shadows that was I talking about I'm gonna keep it 50 or 45 okay okay this, this one will be on top of everything okay so I'm gonna add one more another layer above the base layer okay another fill layer this time or maybe i can delete this one duplicate this layer base i'm going to duplicate this base layer okay the different color okay then i'm going to add a, a little bit uh data i mean color changes you know i'll show you we'll come here in the smartest mask option here you can find all type of uh, dirt uh, rust and dust everything once you add a fill layer you can i'll show you wait see i am going to add this fabric edge damages okay once you added your fill layer uh, just click on it maybe nope you, can, you have to drag to the layer okay like this see you can see the edges right this these edges i will disable it see you can see it right these edges also you can uh, change the um, values here see if you change the global balance in the right side you will add more damage to the edges okay like this okay. save it again can leave everything to the default okay to change the color to black or something nope 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 Okay, so now, now I am going to add a little bit dirt here. So, okay, I am going to duplicate this one again. 
okay you can uh, clear your fill layer by right click then clear mask okay it won't uh, it won't show the same mask we added below so now i am going to add some dots dots in here mm, maybe maybe soft dot so uh, this one i'm going to use this one okay then change the color to it black or white no okay I will add a black color, okay? See? We will save it for now. <coughs> you don't have to use the material every time. If you have the textures, you can just add a uh, I will show you. You can just add a fill layer for the base. Then uh, you can uh, <laughs> import the textures here. Okay, you can just uh, drag it here. And you can use that as a base color, metallic, everything. You don't have to uh, use as a use your material every time. Okay. So I'm gonna add. <coughs> Uh, duplicate this one again and I'm going to change the color to around green or something no. to make it look like uh, some moss you know or I should add some textures then we don't need to add moss This is just it. Okay, also you can you can change the parameter here for the dirt. Okay, like that. I will change the color a little bit. Maybe. Okay. Okay, we have. Okay, we have the smart mask here. We have the materials here. We don't need particles anyway. Uh, alphas. Which one? Alpha need. We We have the environments here. Okay, to render, I will show you at last. Okay. I don't need to find need this uh, smart smart materials. Okay, you can use this smart materials uh, by uh, with one click. Okay, you don't have to add these all these uh, fill layers. Just use one single material or a <laughs> one for one mesh. Okay. If I disable, okay, I will, I'm gonna uh, group everything in the folder. Yes, um, group place. Yes. I'm gonna group it. Uh, I'm gonna create, uh, add a smart material option. Then I will use this fabric UCP, okay. See. Then I will disable this. Like this, maybe. See, this is just a single material, okay? Oh, okay, wait. This look like shit. I will add a different one. This different material, maybe.
can add a smart material like that okay We need a fill layer here. See here we have the dirt and everything. With the smart material, see we have all the options here. See and check this uh, use red just it will go you don't need a fold so smart materials are okay and I'm gonna delete it now we will use the basic way for now and tools we have this are for stitches and everything zipper and everything we don't need it particles we don't need it um, brushes so if you if you want to paint you can use uh, different type of the brushes here okay anyway i will show you this alphas first okay Okay, I'm gonna add one of this uh, symbol to the chair. Okay, wait, I will show you. Maybe I will. I will. Okay, this one. I'm gonna use this one. Okay, okay I'm gonna add a fill layer here. Then, let's see. I'm gonna use it. Wait, I forgot. Okay, then create a black mask. Okay, create a fill layer. Then right click on it. Then add a black mask. Then click this alpha you want to add. See, it will change it to the then I'm gonna change the brush size. See this one, or you can change the size here. Okay, see this one. Okay, then I'm gonna paint it here. Or just click okay, or hand here. Okay, you can change the color here um, by it. Go back to the material you have added. See, you can switch it to mask and the material here like this. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the material. Then I will change the color to red, red or yellow, like this. You can change the color here. See, I will show you once more. I'm gonna change the <coughs> alpha with this. Uh, you can also add a custom alphas, okay? You can import it here or into the project section. You can just drag and drop here, okay? Anyway, here I'm gonna okay. Okay, here I'm gonna use this one. Okay, this one. Yes, yeah, see, it changes the size here and on this side. Click, yeah, okay. Like that, we can change it. Okay, that was for the alphas. Uh, we here we have ranges. We don't need procedure. Let's go. Text is okay. 
if you want to change the base color texture i am going to add a fill layer above the base layer okay like this then disable everything okay disable uh, the height and everything and i am going to use this texture okay this military thing drag and drop to the base color like that see or we can i will import some pattern okay fabric patterns from google so we can add a custom text is make sure you are using the seamless one okay fabric pattern seamless or else it don't, i don't want to tile properly Uh, we take I will find something I can see right anyway I'm gonna use something uh, text okay I'm gonna import something here okay Let's see how this super texture here will show you one defined just select two, two texture okay if you are importing alpha or uh, so anything else you just select accordingly okay i am going to select two texture and import your search to project folder okay okay we have the texture here and we can drag and drop here see if i disable this one see this is this the imported from google okay <coughs> now i'm going to increase the roughness also you can we can tile here see That's how we import textures from uh, Google or you know another source or other sources. Okay, I'm gonna disable it. Okay. We don't need this normal maps to add it. Okay, we don't need it. Not like the sources, not the sources. okay okay if you want to add your uh, alpha as a height map okay i'll show you create a new um, fill layer with the black mask okay we have this alpha i will say change it to something else change it to change it here okay just change it to this one then i will you can change the border with like this one i'm gonna place sorry uh, draw a circle here okay i click here it will Okay, I'm gonna undo, undo this. You can add a mirror option, okay? You can um, use one side as a mirror for the another side. I will show you. 
uh, we have this symmetry option just click on it and mirror x no mirror y i think oh, mirror is or something okay if i draw a circle here it will go to the other side if you are using the symmetry option okay i'm going to disable it so we have this uh, circle here if you want to add the height map this circle has a height map or something not something uh, as a height map you can just uh, come to the material section of the mask okay um, i'm gonna go back to the material section here in the properties panel you can drag this meter like this see if i disable the color then you can add it as a height map or you can just extrude it like this like that you can add it okay if we clear mask and change to something else then i'm going to add a symmetry mm, click here take that we can add i'm gonna clear it anyway No, we have procedure. We don't need it. I will save the project for now. I think that's it. I will show you the rendering part also. Wait, I will pause that for three seconds. Okay, once you're done with your project, wait, let me change this alpha to Once you're done with your project, uh, you can render by going this side, okay? See this camera, it's called rendering VRI, sorry, IRI, click on it. It'll take some time to show, I think. You can use your art key to move around, okay? Then I'm gonna pass the rendering. Or now, oh, then I'm gonna play settings. I'm going to disable the I check a clear color to show this uh, background of HDR okay? If you don't want to see the HDRI, just click on the clear color. And maybe I'm going to come to it. And you can change the environment here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to change it to. I'm going to keep it to pan. Okay, you can also change the light rotation by hold on shift, then right click and drag. Okay. Mm. 
then you can change the minimum samples here i'm going to change it to 21 it will, uh, it will take some time to render once it finished it will show us a show it has done okay then you can save your render by click here save render as jpeg uh, png or whatever you want okay i'm gonna go back to How do we cross the render? Uh, I'm not sure how do you go back camera. Yes. Click on it again. Sorry. And you can also see the wireframe in this section, the display section. I think it or your settings and the viewer settings. You can see the wireframe. Okay, wireframe of the model. okay guys i think that's it for this substance painter and the 3ds max workflow if you have any doubts uh, just comment below or in the stream Okay. Okay. Just, just ask if you want if you want to know any sorry anything. I think oh, okay. One more thing, I, we can also export the textures here. The file also you can export the mesh. Okay, can export the textures here in this section. You see, we have this uh, Arnold for 3ds Max, Corona, PBR, uh, Unity for Unreal Engine, VRA. You can just select your uh, renderer and then export it okay make sure you uh, change the size to 4k 2k or 4k okay export it and you will be done okay so i think that's it for today if you have any doubts just ask okay So anyone yes bro you can find uh, Bavish welcome to the stream bro bro you can find the discord link in our channel we have any doubts just ask okay Don't worry about this uh, color map, okay? We don't need this for at least for this one. If you want to change the sorry, add multiple material or something in a single mesh. You have to add this uh, color map, okay?
guys i think if you don't have any doubts i think i should in the stream okay guys uh, that's it for today thanks for joining the stream hope you guys learned something new okay so i will uh, if you have any doubts okay just comment down below after the stream okay i think that's it i will see you next time Bye guys, take care. Thanks guys for joining the stream, okay. Bye bye, take care. Bye bro, bye.